everyone, this is Indira saying hello to everyone out there. Now, I know you probably think, man, I'm a scrub. Why can't I ever get better? Why can't I ever succeed? Or, man, why does my team suck? Well, I'll tell you a secret here. A lot of times, it isn't just your team sucking. It's sometimes you sucking. And at higher ranks, I realized from going, you know, 1280 to uh, 2311, I think was my high ranking, that... Once you reach about the 1800s, if you were kind of okay before, you need to get better by improving your aim. Improving your aim seems to be like the big thing um, to like really do once you've gone through all the, the rigmarole and stuff. And that everyone's out there getting the, doing the get fast or get rich quick seems. I'm going to tell you something that is absolutely true. It's not get fast quick. It's, it's just a simple training drill that you can do. And you can modify for yourself. I'm, I'm just a scrub, so uh, once I eventually get the master, because that's what I plan on doing today, well, not today, but eventually, um, I, I can give out more advice. But as far as this game is concerned, I'm, I'm pretty much a scrub. Now, the thing about that is that because I'm a scrub, I have no real uh, ego when it comes to this game. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do or what I do to actually get this. Because in this season, season three, I'm going to try and get the Masters and Grandmasters, just like my friend uh, Professor Ganymede. We're, we're both going to actively try. He's on break right now, but point is, that's what I'm doing. So I'll show you what I do. This is a really big thing that anyone can do. Um, and I got bits of it from Skyline. Now, I'll put a link to his video below, and it was a basic training regimen that you can do. Now, what I normally start off is I normally start off with McCree. And the reason I start with McCree is because he's a hit scan character. He just doesn't have to do much. He only has six shots, so you can't you can't afford not to do things. And so you have six shots to kill things. Now it takes two headshots to kill these guys. One, two. And all these people are telling you the, the crazy ass flickering and all that kind of stuff. I can't do any of that. But you know what I can do? I can get headshots. So what I normally start off is just like skyline go from here see what my sensitivity is have a, uh, a a proper sensitivity you know whatever you need so for me my sensitivity is at where is it sound controls controls boop 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 computers my sensitivity is at 12.64 now some people have higher sensitivity some people have lower sensitivity but basically whatever sensitivity you feel that can keep you on a target is, is good enough and from that point on you're just doing nothing but headshots the reason you're doing that is obviously because headshots do the most damage but uh, a side effect of going mostly for headshots is that you end up just hitting your target more so even if you don't get a headshot because you know they like jump up in the air as you're shooting for the head so you end up hitting in the chest you still hit them so you're still doing damage and still you're building up your um your, your ultimate which in this in the new season ever since patch people forget that ultimates build slower so you have to be a lot more uh, conscious with your ultimate so I start off with McCree and then when I first start I go bam bam two hits reload bam bam do the same thing see this guy boom and it's just, just stationary Boom, boom. And so on and so forth. And you basically keep doing that. I uh I normally do this for like ten minutes. So ten minutes is just only headshots. If it's not a headshot, it doesn't count. Now then you eventually get good enough where you can just do it with movement, so now hold on. I'm not even moving that fast. Boom. It just it just practice after a while, and you'll realize that you can just do this. You know, you know that was really bad, but I still hit the target. And then see that you don't want to do this. You just missing. You don't want that. You just want to go headshot. So if it takes you a while, you have to slow down. You just do it like that. You can. It's, it's not a big deal. You don't have to feel sad or, or upset about it. Headshots only. Um, what? people normally also do is you can end up going around and like doing the whole thing where you kind of sort of go with bots I haven't done that yet and I believe once I get to like 2500 I'll start doing that but for now it was just improving your aim I just do it like this 
blow out my kind of roll, do this for a second, and then see how fast I can do it. So maybe you make a little little, little competition with yourself. It's like, all right, let's see how many kill head kills I can get with just headshot with only 12 bullets or something like that. It's like, oh, if I can use two clips to kill, you know, five enemies, I'm doing better. Then you wrap it up. It's like, all right, if I can use two clips to kill six enemies, I'm doing better. So, but McCree, you have to use two. Uh, anyways, but anyone, you can use this for any character. So, after this, I generally go back and I switch between characters. And not only does this make it where you, you learn those characters better, but it makes you understand the difference between them. So like 76 here, he has a burst. He can just hold it down to get a headshot. Or you can burst. You see it takes like a burst and a half to kill opponent. You also see a combination of his. You can heal and you can do like healer's racket, headshot, boom. Healer rocket burst, kill. One shot, well, not one shot. Healer rocket and a burst. And that's all headshots. You just get uh, good enough at it, you just keep doing it all the time. Now, I have tried and. Apparently, the Helix Rocket, while, while it can hit the area of a headshot, it doesn't actually do any extra damage. So for like 76, especially since it's buff, I'm going to be playing him a lot. Uh, 76 is so good to play. Now, I then switch normally to like, Zenyatta. The reason I do Zenyatta is because he's one of my main support. With a main support, well, not main support, with a support you can learn how to mechanics go. Now, Zenyatta is all about hitting with Discord. Boom. So you need to just be able to do Discord, two headshots. Because normally it's one, two, three headshots to kill opponent. But with Discord, you can kill him in two headshots. What I normally try to do is always go for headshots. Another thing that people don't tell you is that with Zenyatta, if you go all the way down to one shot, you can actually still do your right muscle. So. It's two headshots, so you can do like right mouse button after a discord or just two clicks or anything along those lines. It took me a while to get this good. I'm not even that good. See, look, I missed one. Now I'm gonna get perfectly get down to one, and then you see I can charge five, even though I had one. Now, very rarely you're gonna get like that three second. Uh, right mouse button click, but you can do it. Three, three, a right mouse button click for about like two seconds gives you three headshots. Three headshots is a kill. This just increases your, 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 um, your aim. Uh, the other thing you generally have to work for is game sense. And game sense is just something you just learn after a while. You get good at your mechanic, you get good at your game sense. Now this works for everyone. You can do it for anyone, even Reinhardt, you know. Doing the aim makes Reinhardt's fire strike better. You know, it's like, you know how much damage you need to kill a opponent. You aim your fire strikes better, you aim your charges better. Now that was just bad. You get what I mean? Boom. Smash. It works for everyone. Increasing your aim just makes generally everyone better. Now, we're gonna go back to McCree because there's a lot nice little thing I like to do with him. And just after I do headshot. It's a oh, nice little thing that, that also kind of increases your, I won't say awareness, but your ability to choose targets while you have so much ammo. So, I mean, this is another basic one. Shooting gallery. People will tell you just do the shooting gallery. Stand still on purpose. And if you're good enough, you can actually hit this target way back here. And it takes five headshots to kill it. But you, you you didn't realize how much damage drop off McCree has. So you're like, alright, I can't shoot that far because it won't kill anybody. This is the thing I like to do. I just go right here, and anytime this guy comes back, I try to shoot him in the face. 
Can I go, boom. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then, after I do this for, you know, 10 or 20 times, I then try to do this. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. And I make it flip. I try to just make it continuously flip. But, uh, that's just a basic thing. That teaches timing. So, it, it doesn't make your aim better in that particular case. It just makes your timing better. And that increases your ability to know when to shoot. So, if you know, like, a Reinhardt shield's up, you can wait a second for the Reinhardt shield. Or you can do a full-on, it's high it's noon. High noon. Someone when he gets down to like a thousand, you can kill him. So uh, that's pretty much what I do. I'm gonna show you so far after leaving this. I have in my placements. Oh, oh no! Oh yeah, you can't see it, but in my placements, I have three wins. I believe I can see it in the career profile. Yeah, I have three wins, and I've played five games. So. Hey, I'm doing pretty okay. You generally do this for like 10 minutes. And then you do anywhere from two to three quick plays. So you put your practice into motion. You see, you get better with people. and You know how to do your little, little stuff with them. And then after that, you just kind of go into competitive. And that pretty much has been working well for me. You can change it to a variation of whatever. You can do bots you know a lot of people say do on bots are hard and headshots only or like lucio bots because they move around faster on headshot only that tends to work uh you can make a little competition out of your training regimen you know if you can do this in so many minutes you get better but when you first start off you won't if you're like i was you won't be able to get headshots even while standing still unless you're really slow but once you get to that point and you can just do headshots, you'll kill people faster. If you play DPS, that's good. Even if you're a support like Zenyatta or Ana, that, that's good because you're doing headshots. So you're getting your ultimate charge faster because now the ultimate charge is slower. So you need to do more damage, um, especially since Ana's ult does not give speed boost. So that's uh, that's one of the scrub tips. This is Enderalis. I hope you all enjoyed your time here. May the Zen be with you. Oh.